What's up guys this is Hardik here so as you guys know Android Q beta 1 got released yesterday and I already have a video on it so if you want to check that out uh, I made a complete walk through about all the new features and everything so that will be linked in the description box below uh, so today was my first day with the beta itself and I'll be showing you guys or I'll be telling you guys how my day was with the preview itself so I have my Pixel 2 XL right over here with Android Q and everything is set up the apps are the ones that i had already installed uh so i'll just quickly go into settings go into about phone and as you can see the version is android q and it is the beta one itself so first things first a lot of people want to know about the battery life uh so right now it is 11 11 <laughs> that's a good thing uh anyway so it is 11 11 and it is at 51 percent uh, my day started exactly at 11 so i took my phone off the charger on 11 a.m or at 11 a.m in the morning and it is almost or it is like 12 hours now and i still have 51 percent battery so if i go into my battery stats real quick so there we go as you see i have 51 percent and all the apps are running normally the battery saver was not turned on anytime uh, in the day uh, last full charge as you guys can see it is 12 hours ago and the screen on time is 3 hours 3 minutes and mind you I was on LTE the entire day so I took my phone off the charger and I went to college so my LTE was on the entire day as well as my Bluetooth as my pixel was connected to the uh, smartwatch the Moto 360 second generation so I had Bluetooth Wi-Fi and network on the entire day so i mean this is like a great battery life uh, none of the previous android versions gave me this kind of battery life on lte uh, so things to just note here is i did not take any kind of photos so camera was not open at all uh, i did some minor or some sort of social networking also gave you feedbacks and snapchat and other stuff so snapchat instagram twitter reddit uh, YouTube Music, Spotify uh, did that, then Snapchat as I said uh, and what else, what else. So basically all sorts of social media and also browsing on Chrome so I did that as well. So it was a casual day for me or a light day for me and after 12 hours I am still running 51% so half the battery is still remaining and it can go up to uh, let's see 11.30 am in the morning if I use it constantly throughout the night itself uh, so that is a really really good thing so i mean battery life for me the beta one has been really good uh, like mind-blowing compared to all of the previous versions of android this has been like really good for me uh, the second thing here is performance and the performance for me has been really good as well so one thing i do really like is the gestures as you can see we they are, they are super smooth super smooth and the only thing here is uh, we do have some sort of lag on the bottom as you can see but again it is the beta one so we do expect a few bugs or lags here and there uh, another thing working, not working for me is the actions in the app drawer so as you can see uh, they, I don't see any actions on the app drawer I do really like them uh, but I don't know why I don't have it right now another thing the thing I complained on my previous video as well as I said all the in app or the system apps are also installed uh, on the app drawer so that is pretty annoying in my opinion but again th there's nothing we can do about it so we'll just have to wait until the next patch which will fix it eventually so that is the only uh, minor issue that I had with the beta itself other than that I did nothing uh, but I'll, I would like to quickly show a few of the features or hidden features that the beta provides so you now have a inbuilt screen recorder so to enable that you just have to do is go into the settings scroll down to about phone scroll down to build number tap on build number until you become a developer go back go into system Go, uh, go into advance go to developer options scroll down until you see an option to enable flag features so there's an option called flag features go into that scroll down until you see these uh, settings screen record long press just it will be false by default so you have to enable it and once enabled just hold the power button and then hold on the screenshot and as you can see you'll get an option to 
record the voice over show taps or start recording so if you start recording it will start recording and uh, the recordings will be something like this so i do have few recordings there we go as you can see these are the recordings that i took uh, in the day itself so as you can see there we go also as you can see the uh, edges are rounded so that is a good thing also if i take a screenshot the screenshot uh, will also have curved edges on the side so that is a good 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 thing another thing is that uh, as you guys know we don't get the dark mode enabled or an option to enable dark mode by default so if you want to enable the dark mode you have to enable the battery saver mode which will get you the dark mode to not enable the battery saver mode uh, there's a hack on xda which i'll be not a not a hack but uh but a adb command to enable the black or the dark mode so i'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to download or if you want to force the dark mode on your pixel device so you can do that as well but other than that uh, everything seems to work really really fine no issues for me i mean no major issues for me uh, the beta 1 seems to work really fine and uh, yeah i would really recommend you guys to flash it on a pixel not install it over ota i'd recommend you to flash it because few users did uh, complain about getting bugs or errors uh, after installing it via an ota update so i'd recommend you to back your device up and just flash it uh, and you know get a get a fresh start of your device so yeah for now that that is pretty much it uh, this was the android q beta 1 on my pixel 2 xl and again as you guys know i'd be i'll be flashing the beta 2 beta 3 and so on as well so if you want, so if you guys are interested do subscribe to my channel and i'll be making more videos on the beta itself so yeah thank you guys very much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next one